Welcome back gamers to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here to the channel we provide daily content on all things gaming so if you're wanting more of that then tap the subscribe button to never miss another video. Plus leave us a comment down below with your tips and tricks for a better gaming experience and make sure you stay all the way until the end because you won't believe our number one pick. It's pretty great. And while you type your answers let's jump into today's list of the top 10 hacks every gamer should know. And at number 10, eye protection. Your eyes are without a doubt the most important thing to protect when it comes to having a long life of gaming. Without your vision, sniping noobs from afar becomes much more difficult and just getting a bigger TV screen isn't going to fix it. At the end of the day, your vision will start to diminish with age and now that we are exposed to so much blue light shining from every device that we own, this is becoming even more important. There are a few simple hacks to help with this common eye strain that gamers experience, but very from device to device. Let's say if you're a PC gamer, you'll want to download a program like Flux. It diffuses the blue LED light into a darker red tone that's easier on your eyes. It's a free program that will adjust the brightness of your screen as well as the color settings based on the time of day. If you're a night owl with gaming, this is a very important thing to have. If you're a console gamer, there is a different workaround that has kind of the same result. Many gamers swear by gunner optics, which are just a pair of glasses pre-equipped with the same reddish hue to diffuse the blue light your screens may be emitting. In at number 9, headset holder. We all know by this point that for a proper gaming experience you need to have a great gaming headset. Something that provides perfect sound for you to be aware of your environment and a headset equipped with a decent mic to make communication with your teammates that much easier. What no one will tell you is what to do with this sometimes very expensive gaming accessory once you're finished playing. If you have a house with pets chewing on everything you won't want to leave it on the ground and on top of that no matter which surface you set the headset on it always looks like a tangled mess. A great workaround for this is to buy a banana holder. I know, it sounds crazy, but bear with me for a moment. A hooked banana stand can double as an excellent holder for your headphones. It keeps them high enough so that if you spill something on your desk, they won't be damaged, and it displays them in such a way that people will just respect their importance. In at number 8, Game Mode. Have you ever flicked through your TV settings and been confused by the options so you just go with the default? Trust me, most people do this, but lurking in those settings is something that will dramatically improve your gaming experience overall. On most TVs, there's an option for game mode under the general settings. This mode will remove any input lag which will then minimize the visual lag that you experience between your game and its transmission to your screen. Some TVs may not be optimized for this or may have limited impact, but don't let that get you down. The best way to get optimal settings for gaming can be easily found by googling your TV's serial number and finding a forum where people discuss the best settings for your TV. In at number 7, don't buy new. Now we here at Top 10 Gaming understand the urge to pre-order and pay exorbitant amounts of money for that fresh new video game you've been longing for, but before you do that, just hear us out. Not all times, but sometimes the game at full price is well worth it, but are you willing to take the risk to find out? If you're not, or if you can resist the temptation for a couple of weeks, these brand new games will almost always depreciate in value. By constantly checking websites like Steam or even Amazon, you'll be able to find the same game but with a significant drop in price. Not only that, but the obvious is that the longer you wait, the cheaper the game will be. Plus, if you're just in a gaming mood, instead of browsing the big box stores, Try going to a yard sale or perhaps a thrift store. A lot of the time they have older games that work perfectly and sell for next to nothing. Just be careful of those creepy pastas. In at number 6, Charge Faster. If you are a PS4 gamer like myself, you understand the trials and tribulations of attaching your controller to charge only to be limited by the length of the cord or slower charging times. To hack this, all you need is an external battery or a phone charger. Because the controllers are just USB, you can either directly plug them into the wall or to remain wireless, plug them into an external battery. Plus, USB charging blocks such as the lightning block that typically come with Samsung devices can rapidly charge your controller. In at number 5, Mobile Gaming God. 
With mobile gaming becoming more and more popular than ever before and phone technology improving, people are always looking for a way to gain an edge on the competition. This should ring true for anyone that plays games such as PUBG. Now there are a number of different very expensive converters that you can get that can plug into your phone so they can play using a controller, but if you're going to go through all that hassle, you might as well just play on a console. An alternative hack to this that's cheap and effective is just looking for a handheld grip. The Nintendo Switch is proof that adding a controller-esque kind of setup to your screen can improve your gameplay. Simply having a case shaped like a controller that wraps your screen is a simple hack, but one that can certainly give you an edge while playing competitive mobile games. In at number 4, type faster. In the dark ages of console gaming, many people would expel an audible sigh at the very sight of a keyboard pop up on their screen. Moving your joystick from letter to letter seems so archaic compared to how fast we can type or text. Many of the major consoles release an accessory add-on for controllers to speed this process up, but even that had its issues. For one, you have to connect it every time that you're going to type, which can just be annoying. A great hack for this if you play games on PS4 is downloading their app. Within the app, you can mirror your screen or use it as a keyboard that directly interacts with your PlayStation. Show a photo. It's easy to set up and can help cut down on the time it would take to type without it. Typing faster just means more time for gaming. In at number 3, auto updates. Nothing can be more frustrating frustrating than starting up your console only to be met with a mandatory download or update. A simple solution to this problem would be to go into your settings under automatic downloads. Under this header you can customize how your system responds to new updates released and the most important thing here is to check off the system software update files as well as the application update files. If you're a PlayStation Plus member you can even leave your PS4 in rest mode and it will auto start these important updates so that by the time that you go to play you have little to no interruptions. You're welcome. In at number two, more space. Back in the day, you could just pop your game into the console and start playing immediately. No need to download a ridiculously large file just to enjoy a video game. However, with improved graphics and complex features of games, the space is certainly well deserved. That also means you'll have even less room on your console for any other games that you may want to play. A terrific hack for this is to buy an external hard drive. These used to be a very expensive computer accessory, but now with hard drive space being expanded, you can find lower terabyte hard drives for pretty cheap. Adding an external hard drive won't just free up more space for other games on your console, it will also improve loading times because the system has less of a load on it. Oh. Lastly in our number one spot, cord organization. This has to be the number one spot because regardless of how you game or even if you've never been a gamer, tangled cords are the bane of everyone's modern existence. A simple method of not just having untangled cords but organized cords is absolutely free and everyone has access to it. Instead of throwing out your toilet paper rolls, use them as sectional dividers for all your cables. Once you have the cords in the rolls, you can stand them, in, you can stand them up in a box of your choice to make searching for that charging cable that much easier. To add to this, while you're organizing, you should also be simultaneously writing on the side of the toilet paper roll what the cord is and what it's used for. And that has been the top 10 hacks every gamer should know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list and any more hacks that you may have that you want to, you know, give to the gaming community. That'd be nice of you. I might even scroll through them and like a couple. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you have to do is click that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Gaming, I'm Johnny Rogers saying until next time, take care.